Okay. Had a question this week on uh, quadrants, and so we'll talk a little bit about creating arcs and quadrants. So many times when you create an arc, uh, you actually create it from a circle as opposed to developing an arc directly. And so if we've got two circles, go ahead. If we got two circles here, we'll pick the intersection. And we'll make this one roughly one inch. And then we'll do one more circle. But this circle, instead of doing a center radius, we'll do a tangent tangent radius. So we'll say we want the tangent on the outside of the first circle tangent on the outside of the second circle and then the radius and we'll say the radius is six inches and you can see that we now have an over arc, overarching arc uh, with that we can trim it and trim it back so now we've got the ability to create we've got well we've created the overarching arc associated with that and we can do the same thing with lines and lines are a little bit different because we usually use a pop-up. So we'll do a line, but we'll hold the shift key down on the keyboard and right mouse button on the mouse, and that'll become a pop-up. And we can use the tangent selection as a pop-up. So we'll do a line tangent from the bottom of this circle, shift, right mouse button, tangent to the bottom of the other circle and then right mouse click and choose enter so again we can create tangent lines between circles or arcs and the same with arcs themselves so let's go ahead and trim these up here real quick and we'll then talk about the next option so when we're doing inquiries and you know we're inquiring about positions and locations um, all that's found under the utilities area and so we've got measured distance radius and so forth so typically we use distance and we use properties so usually when we're dealing with quadrants it's a distance between two points and so when we select that we also can use those pop-ups again so the shift right mouse button pop-up if we choose measure distance shift right mouse button from the intersection and we can specifically say we want the intersection of you know this location shift right mouse button to the quadrant of this arc okay so that arc has a quadrant and there it is and so when we select that we get all the information popped up on the screen we also get it at the bottom of the screen as part of text so we can see that the, the distance between the two points is 3.0882. The angle in the XY plane from, from the intersection point to the quadrant is 50 degrees. And then the delta X, Y, and Z, which is the change in the X direction and the change in the Y direction. And again, you can see it displayed in graphical or you can get it in text form at the bottom of the screen. So just wanted to shoot this really quick uh, video on inquiry tools with the shift right mouse button pop-ups, the quadrant, which is where the question came from, and creating arcs from circles. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.